Hello again everyone, Joanne with StampingInTheValley.com and welcome to my craft room. Today what we're going to do is go over the free card kits for next month, the month of January. This will start when you place an order from January 1st to the end of the month. Um, and you have to use a host code. I'll pop it up on the screen for you. And then you receive two free card kits from me. No stamped images. That's not allowed from Stampin' Up! But I'm going to show you what we're going to do. We're going to focus on the Special Reasons Bundle. I love this. Absolutely love this. And I didn't know that this image right here has a second one that's smaller. And I did a lot of layering with it. Um, so the bundle number for this is 144720. It's 4575. Um, and you also know that celebration is going on. And so just for $4.25 more, you can order out of the Celebration Catalog. Now, you guys won't be able to do this until January 4th. That's why I'm running it right to the last day of the month. Um, and so the bundle itself is in the New Occasions Catalog. You guys are going to love this catalog. And I love this stamp set. It's a little different the framelits and this is why I'm going to pass it on to you guys on how to uh, work with it today. So this first card if you just place $25 in product before taxes, shipping and any handling just $25 then I send you two free card kits and you get an envelope. No stamped images though. You guys know I always stamp my images on my envelopes. Okay and this is the little element right there that's in the framelits and it has a smaller one and I've really enjoyed using that on the cards. Look at this, isn't that beautiful? That is a framelit and um, I, I stamped an image behind it but you're, you don't have to if you don't want to. So in the card kit what you're going to get because I can't stamp anything for you you're going to get the piece of cardstock back here the base the 11 by 4 and a quarter scored at 5 and a half then you're going to get a piece of flirty flamingo um, in this one you're going to get flirty flamingo at 5 and a quarter by 4 and then another piece of whisper white at 5 by 3 and 3 quarters and then you're going to get all the pieces to do this with and uh, I'm going to show you how to put the card together in just a minute so you're going to get the pieces these are two pieces right here two framelits these are two pieces right here and then you're going to get this stem very intricate with these little leaves and um, these two elements right here, but nothing will be stamped, okay? I can send you the die cuts, but I can't send you anything stamped. Then the second card that you're going to receive, and this we did with Peekaboo Peach. Again, it's 11 by 4 and a quarter, scored at 5 and a half. The first layer of Peekaboo Peach is 5 and a quarter by 4. The second layer of Whisper White is 5 by 3 and 3 quarters. And look what we did with the framelits. These framelits cut out and cut into, and you can cut them out like this okay and have one piece but you can also cut them out to where they just it's like a I don't know like a shadowing behind it I just I absolutely love it so you're gonna get this piece of whisper white with these two flowers cut out I'm gonna send you three enamel dots and then I'm gonna send you the two uh, um, cut out pieces right here and you can put any sentiment you want on it but what's going to happen with this card is as I sell out of the enamel dots which they are just fantastic look at these as I sell out of these enamel dots and I have them in peekaboo peach flirty flamingo dapper denim uh, sweet sugar plum and emerald envy but as I go through the uh, peekaboo peach then I'm going to switch to another color so your base and your um, little embellishment here the color might change okay also the enamel dots they're circles hearts and stars I will get I will send you three of something and it will coordinate with your card okay I promise so let me break away and switch my um, oh and let me give you the number on the enamel dots is one four one four one zero these are the 2016 2018 in color enamel shapes uh, so I'm gonna break away for just a second and switch my surface here and we're gonna put these cards together
Back in a minute. Okay, I'm back and we're going to do our first card. And this is using the Flirty Flamingo. Love that. And let's go ahead and adhere the Flirty Flamingo to our card base right here. You're going to get a regular piece of Whisper White there as your card base. And then this you can use Tombow or Snail, whatever, or uh, Fast Fuse, whatever you want. Bring this in. I'm trying to make more of the entire card with you guys online. And really trying to keep things straight at the same time. But we can do this. Okay, there we go. There's our base. Okay. Now the next piece is this Whisper White. And it's just solid. We're gonna, just going to put it right there. Um, well, actually, first what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp my flower. Okay. And this has like a base. And it's almost um, textured in the middle there so that it makes a beautiful texture to the flower. Okay, so we're, I'm going to ink this up. And I'm going to stamp off with this flirty flamingo right there. And then I'm going to bring my flower in right here on a little bit of an angle. Nice. Isn't that pretty? Okay. Now, like I said, you will not get the stamped image, but if you order this set, this is what you can do with it. I want to show you something, though. Um, if you did not order the set, it still looks pretty. If you were to make the flower, okay? It still looks nice, even with the white background, if you didn't have the stamp. I think the stamp gives it some really nice dimension. And the only thing you're going to do with this is get your Tombow. And right here in the center, in the circle, I'm just going to put just a few dots of it down there. Because I want the rest of the flower to pop up. Okay. And there's definitely a part to it. You know, you, you've got to just wiggle it around a little bit, turn it. It fits perfectly. And I just put that center down so that this lifts up. I love that. Isn't that nice? See how that lifts? Right there. Okay. Good. Now, <clears throat> um, what we're going to do next is I'm going to put the little stem. And, you know, the way that we do the other one, this could all, you don't have to use the piece. It's a negative impression also. So if you were to put a couple of different colors of colors of cardstock behind this, you would you could bring up like a emerald envy color. I'm gonna curl that around. That come right to the bottom there. Nice. And now I'm gonna put my little leaves on, just a dot or two on each. Um, this stamp set is in our occasions cat. I really get into what I'm doing and then I stop talking, don't I? Cause <laughs> just concentrating on what I'm doing. Enjoying what I'm doing, actually. Um, but this, it is time for celebration. This set, this bundle, is in the occasions catalog, like I said before. And um, for every $50 in product before shipping and handling, uh, that you order, tax shipping and handling, that you order, then you get to um, pick out of the celebration catalog. There's all kinds of papers and stamp sets, and um, you're going to see me do a lot of stuff, a lot of videos from that also. So we've got our leaves on. How pretty. Pretty. Okay, I already did this one. You just uh, glue it down. It makes a really nice embellishment. Almost feels like chipboard because our paper is so fantastic. Okay, and then I'm just going to slip this. Lift that up and slip a leaf right under there at the edge. Nice. 
And this one I thought I would do with you. I just turn this over and I just add a little dots of Tombow at these junctions here. Just like that. Then I just put it on the piece that I cut out. Oop, a lot of glue. But that's okay. It dries clear. And then you can always take the glue remover, that little rubber um, block, and take get it off of there. So I want to put a little back here. Then I'm going to come up here with a leaf. There we go. And you're going to get all of these embellishments, okay? You just, just no stamped images. Okay, now this, you can pop this up with dimensionals if you want. I'm just going to put it down with some Tombow. Beautiful. Right there. Let's bring our card base back in. We're ready to put this on here. Use some snail. And this is the first card. This is the tutorial on how to put it together. If you order $25 from me from January 1st to the end of the month, these are the pieces that you're going to get with no stamped images, and you can put together a beautiful card like this. This is the first card. I'm going to break away and set up for the second card. Okay, we're back with the next card. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, now, in the last card where I showed you where we cut the image out, okay, with the framelits, you can cut your image out with this framelit right here. Okay, it's very intricate. But this is how we're going to do, for this card, we're going to make that effect where you have like almost like a shadow behind it. So, I have my magnetic plate and I have my um, one piece of my sandwich. And let me get my other piece. And we're going to run this right through the big shot. Whoops, sorry. Didn't mean to hit the camera. Let me move that out the way. There we go. <clears throat> okay. Right through the big shot we go. Now, this is what gives us our image so fast, so easy to make this card. Everything just falls out. I've got a little... I'll get the, you can take the brush and run it around here, but everything pretty pretty much falls out of here really quick because it is just uh, Whisper White cardstock. It's thin. So I'm just going to take a second here with my fingers and just get these out of here. All right. I sure have enjoyed designing these cards. I really enjoy this stamp set. Uh, until I watched a video from Stampin' Up, I didn't realize that it does this. So let's move this mess out of the way. Now if it crashes, you know I've dropped it. Okay. Okay, we'll bring our card base in again, <clears throat> and we have our Peekaboo Peach. And again, the card base is 11 by 4 and a quarter, scored at 5 and a half. This piece is 5 and a quarter by 4. Bring our Tomba, or um, our Snail in. Right, there we go nice now this is so simple watch this effect right down on there isn't that a I love that you're gonna watch me do a lot more cards more uh, with this stamp set but these are the two cards that are the free kits for the month um, so now what I'll do with this right here this is so simple we're just gonna take some snail 
and go around it. Again, you can Tombow. I try to get it where um, some of these spaces are. Sometimes I hold it and I just flick it on my fingers. If it'll go, there we go. And come through there. Good. And then right here and here. Perfect. Okay. Now flip it over. Bring your card base in. This is so simple. I'll show you all the sentiments I've used out of this set. I've really, really enjoyed it. Um, now this one I made, again, with the two little framelits. I'll show you those framelits. These are... Now that I have a little room here on my working surface, I got a little crowded. Had to break the video up into three. It got to be too much. <laughs> but that's okay. That means we're busy. These are all the framelits that you get. And these are the two. I really, really like the shape of those and how they layer in each other. See, so you get a stem and you get um, leaves, big and, and small, and then the flower. You, of course, you get the intricate die that we just used, and then you have this outline right here. See, if you were to cut it out with this die right here, then this goes on top of it after you cut it out, and then that's how you get the flower that we made for the other card. Like that. Okay. So you really do get a lot in the set. I really enjoy it, and I think you guys are going to enjoy putting these together. Like I said, as I run out of some of the uh, color of the enamel dots, I'll change the back of this card's paper so that it, you know, it coordinates for you guys. I'm not going to send you dapper denim um, enamel dots with flirty flamingo background, you know, which I mean it would go, but I wanted this card to be uniform. Okay, so we're just going to adhere that there. And again, you can pop that up with dimensionals if you want to. I just made it flat. Let's bring our enamel dots in again. Get a bunch of these. Okay, let's see. Now the last time I put three dots. So this one, together we share so many things. Put a little heart down here. Okay. And then I'm going to come back up here with two dots. You'll definitely get three enamel dots. I just don't know what color. Okay. I hope you've enjoyed my video today, and I hope you enjoy these cards that we've made with the Special Reasons Bundle. Okay, remember it's celebration. We have the new occasions catalog. We've got the celebration catalog. And of course we have our annual catalog. Here are these gorgeous cards that we just made together. Aren't they beautiful? Wouldn't you just like to get a card in the mail like this? This one says, together we share so many things. <clears throat> I'm lucky to have a good friend like you. I love the font. It's um, almost um, script-like. This one I did, happy birthday. And this one is wishing you a beautiful day. And this card was done in uh, Watermelon Wonder. But the cards that the kits that you get, guys get in the mail will be the Flirty Flamingo and the Peekaboo Peach. Okay, and again, I might have to change the color of the Peekaboo Peach depending on what enamel dots I run out of, okay? Thank you so much for watching my videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Go to stampinginthevalley.com and click on the big blue button. And that's my daughter, so I'll talk to you guys later.